There is no more hiding the obvious. Don't politicize it. Don't try to excuse it. None of that works. Cops are being hunted across America as we speak. Those who dedicated their lives to maintaining law and order are being gunned down in public without an obvious reason. There is a proclaimed war on cops. But it's not that simple. It's also a war on wives, husbands, sons, daughters, nieces, nephews, mothers, fathers, who are left behind to grieve and wonder why someone who simply wanted to help others is now gone forever. Our guest is a popular speaker and author, one who dedicates a good part of her life to working with the families of law enforcement in times of such pain. Founder of Badge of Hope Ministries and author of Under Fire, Marriage Through the Eyes of a Cop's Wife, welcome Christy Neese to the Hardline. Christy, I want to thank you for joining us under what is very difficult circumstances, what is happening now in America. When you hear what's happened in Illinois, what has happened in Texas, I imagine it has to take you to a point where you probably think right about having to look into the eyes of, these, of this family who can't understand why suddenly someone's not coming home at night. Yes, it's heartbreaking. Um, we just, uh, every time this happens, it seems like it's happening more and more um, as the days go by. Um, we've had uh, seven, I believe, um, in just the month of August that have been gunned down. Um, it's heartbreaking and it's also frustrating because um, as a wife of an officer, as a mother of an officer, um, you know, that could be very well be me. Um, and it's heartbreaking that these families are having to go through that, these departments are having to go through that because it's not just one, you know, one little family unit that is affected, it's a ripple effect. And it's taking a hit on our law enforcement across the board. The morale is very low at this point. Christy, we always see it in television when it's dramatized. And then sometimes we see the press conferences. We see these shots, but these little video shots, pictures. But you've been there in the living rooms. You've talked to these people. What are we missing? What are, what are we not seeing about that emotional toll? You know, these people are, are human just like everyone else. You know, they, they have families. They like to do things with their families. They like to go out to eat. They like to see movies. They like to go to Disney World. Um, they're, they're just average, normal people. But yet they go out there and they do their job because it's a calling, and they are called to do that. They love their job. They want to help people. And yet, um, it seems like there's such a, uh, I don't know, a wave of, of people right now that are against our law enforcement and are not uh, seeing them as human. They're seeing the badge, they're seeing the authority, um, but they're not seeing them as human with, with lives, um, with people who are needing them at home. And so it's frustrating because I think sometimes we miss that aspect. You know, we see the badge, but we don't realize there's a human being behind that badge. Christy, I've only got about a minute or so left here. Do you see a time coming, or do you see it coming now when some family members are looking at their, their husbands or wives in law enforcement and begging them to get out? Yes. Yes, it's happening now. You know, people are um, trying to dissuade their loved ones from going into law enforcement because it's, it's become such a, a hard profession. People, um, again, you know, it's very dangerous. It's, it's very taxing emotionally and physically. Um, it's, there's a high, very high divorce rate um, to go along with everything else. So it's, it's a lot of people are, you know, trying to discourage their loved ones from going into law enforcement. So, you know, we are hoping that, you know, we, uh, groups like Badge of Hope, groups like, uh, you know, that, that we are networked with, um, that offer encouragement and support. We're hoping that we can kind of help turn the tide uh, for that because we need our law enforcement officers. Only got 20 seconds left. Do you consider this a war on cops? I do. I believe, you know, as, as things escalate, it seems like, um, you know, the uh, level of violence is escalating and there's just a mindset right now. However, I do see good coming out of this. There is an awakening from just average citizens who are seeing that our officers are out there putting their life on the line every day. Let and us so hope there are, so. There is good things Let us hope so. The book again is Under Fire, Marriage Through the Eyes of a Cop's Wife. Christy Neese, please continue to do your work. Help these families stay strong. That's what this nation needs. Thank you so much for your time. Stay with us. The Hardline continues.